Today's video is going to be how to separate irises. Um, irises, when they get like this, where they're just a ton in one little area, will not bloom. Um, so you have to go in, and I do it about every three years or so. I'll go in and I will completely dig them all up and separate them out into individual plants or clusters of like two or three. Um, and the next year they will bloom better than they have in years. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your irises actually need to be separated and it's not just a fertilizer problem. Like I said before, if you go in there and you see clusters of like this where there's like five, six in little groups all in through here, I mean there's probably 30 irises right here. Um, that's just way too many for one little area and they just can't get the nutrients necessary to bloom properly. Splitting irises up is actually extremely easy to do. Um, all you're going to need is a shovel and then you just start digging. And if you do it when it's raining, like I am right now, this is actually extremely easy to do because the ground's soft. It makes digging hundred times easier. Sorry for the shaky camera. I am doing this one-handed, but we'll make through. And like I said, just take the whole clump up. It's not going to hurt them. You know, if, they, if, if they do not hold their green growth if you do it early enough like i'm doing mine in january um it'll give it plenty of time for the irises to regain some vigor and come back up in the spring and hopefully start flowering for you once you've got them all loosened up you can literally just go in there start pulling them out you see that's that's what i'm talking about see how that's just like one big mass of irises right there if you do want to go ahead, you can just kind of break them off, really. Um, sometimes they don't break well. See, this is the other reason why you want to split them. You see how that was that one's all rotted? Was not able to grow. They smell horrible when they rot. And rot is just never good. I'm going to be moving this entire clump to a completely new area in my yard. We just did some drainage work. And um, I want to actually move these to kind of hide the drain line a little bit because they do kind of, in Georgia, where I'm located, they do tend to stay green for quite a bit of the year. I've actually never had them completely die back. So <clears throat> Georgia is a great place to grow your irises. Then you just kind of sift through the soil a little bit See if there's any you missed. Um, there's probably one or two. Maybe it'll come up, maybe they won't. But from there, you're gonna wanna move to a table and start dividing. When dividing irises, I do like to go through and kind of pull out the ones that I know are gonna be easy to divide. Like this guy, this one's, this one, this one right here is huge. Um, I go, I'll go ahead and I'll break this tuber off right here. That's a whole plant. Then you got two plants right here, really, but I'm just gonna leave those together. And then I'm just gonna set them in this pot. It's gonna be a good place for them to go. And then we got this little guy, which is two little plants. I'm gonna leave those together as well. And then we have the big clump. This big clump is gonna be fun, to, really fun to try and figure out how to divide it properly. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start breaking them apart into little clumps see that one's got three on it three or four it'll be all right like that it's going to have plenty of new growth coming off that and give it plenty of room to flower same for this i mean this this clump is massive it's probably got 30 plants on it like i said so we're going to take this just kind of find somewhere where you think you can get a piece off like that that's what that, that right there 
right there is an iris plant. It will come up. And you're gonna come in here. You gotta really get into it sometimes. It's hard to do this one-handed. Let's try over here. Yeah, here we go. There's a good one. There's a plant right there. Little guy, but it's still a plant. Then we got this. It broke the green growth off of it, but it does have a root system, so we might try and see what it'll do. Let's see if I can get this off. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. There's another piece. And then this right here is a really solid tuber or bulb, whatever you want to call it. Let's shove that in the pot. Pull your weeds out. Don't leave them in there. There's a good one. I'm gonna have to set the phone down for this. All right, guys, so I have successfully split them all. Um, got quite a few plants out of it. Not really sure the exact number. And now that you've after you've completed that, we're gonna go and select the new area to put them. Irises do prefer to be more in like the full sun-ish area. There's my dog, Conway. Um, so I am going to kind of start putting them right over in here. And don't mind the weeds. Kind of go around and put them, end them right into this side. So let's get started. When planting iris bulbs, you're just gonna, in my case, I'm just gonna dig a, a shallow trench, probably about six inches deep six to eight inches deep all the way through the area that I'm gonna want it. So like I said, it's gonna go all the way from here, all the way around here. Probably gonna end somewhere right in here. I don't have as many as I thought I did. So I'm just gonna dig a shallow trench from there to there. And that's where it's gonna be. And there's the trench, guys. Um, like I said, it's about six inches deep. A little shallower in some spots, but for the most part, it's about six inches. And then we're going to prep the area. So I'm gonna go get some fertilizer. I'll be right back. I got my fertilizer. This is my all-time favorite. It's called EB Stones Organics Sure Start. It's just a starter fertilizer, but um, I have great results with it when using it for just about anything, but uh, it just ensures, like I've said in other videos, that your plants get a very solid start and good foundations for good growth. So with the fertilizer, guys, I'm just going to take a handful. It's going to take a couple handfuls, and I'm just going to prep the bed. Just prep it all the way through. This is a bone meal base, so if you do have dogs, like I have a hunting dog, and he loves to get in here when I use this stuff and dig. So hopefully he doesn't dig it up too much. I'm sure he will, but it'll be all right. And then after that, it's time to start putting your bulbs in. All right, guys. So when you're planting your irises, if they have the green growth on them and a good root system, make sure you always put Roots, roots down, green up. Pretty self-explanatory, but I always like to make sure I got good soil to root contact. Um, they're not, they don't have to go straight. This one's not gonna be straight, but it's gonna be fine. It'll straighten itself out in time. And then you're gonna wanna space them. So you don't have to, again, remember how I said every two to three years, that's all based on your spacing. Like I'm spacing these probably six to eight inches apart, probably closer to the six, um, just so that way I don't have to come out here and do it all the time. I don't like to. <laughs> Good old Georgia red clay. 
All right, I'm gonna get these done and we'll come back. And there you have it guys, a completely split planted area of irises. Um, like I said, there was probably 30, but it was ended up being closer to probably 20. And there are quite a few under there that have no green growth on them is why you don't see 20 of them right there, but they are there and they, I'm sure they'll come up in the spring. Um, I would like to thank y'all for watching and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you see anything I didn't do right, let me know. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.